All right, well, I hope everybody had a good Christmas. I did too, and today is the day after. And if you're like me, uh, you enjoy the socks and the shirts and whatever. People buy a calendar, but it's the doodads, the trinkets that you end up playing around with. The little guys like me, it's the trinkets, the gadgets, whatever. So during the holidays, I built this, and I'm calling this the doodad motor. And the circuit is by Dad Have, and so I named it in his honor the doodad motor. And on this project, what I wanted to look at was could you build the basic structure for a pulse motor with sticks? And that's a uh, tongue depressor stick, and that's a bamboo skewer. And it worked. And um, there's a coil of wire there. There's a neodymium uh, magnet that's polarized on the outside surfaces. And this is Dad Hav's circuit that I'm just going to show running on a button cell 3-volt battery. And that's his circuit, and he came up with this a few years ago. And uh, it's really a neat circuit. Uh, you can use just a single coil of wire and get the thing to trigger, and it's uh, pretty darn neat. It's a complementary transistor circuit. I've shown it before, and you can pause this and look at it. It's very, very simple. And like I say, Dad have came up with it, and you can run... Uh, different scenarios over here depending on what you want to do even a monopole but I've just got a uh, two-pole neodymium magnet running in front of the coil right here and I'm using a ferrite core and uh, the way you do this if you're going to make one of these stick motors is you coat the uh, surfaces with crazy glue and you make the holes a little too big for the stick and it's a wobbly fit, but when the super glue dries and you oil it, it burnishes to a real smooth surface. And that uh, smooth surface, if it's oiled up good, makes a pretty darn good bearing surface, even with uh, these materials here. This is bamboo, and I'm not sure what the uh, wood is on the stick there, but you just drill a hole in that thing and uh, make it a little too big and then put the... Uh, crazy glue in there and then after the crazy glue uh, dries you run the drill back through there to make it smoother and then you smooth the crazy glue on the uh, bamboo stick and uh, run it and it burnishes into a real good bearing surface and the way the thing is put together is um, with this 90 second epoxy and I found that to be very very good uh, for putting this stuff together uh, TK uses the crazy glue in a gel form for his little stick motor projects, and that works also. But what I tried uh, this time on this one was I used contact cement, and I put the contact cement on there and got it to stick, and then applied the epoxy to the outside. And that works pretty darn good. Let me show you how it runs here. I get it going. And it goes. And it's just running on this uh, button cell. It won't run very long on that. Uh, it's drawn a lot of juice, actually, but uh, the uh, project, like I say, was it's really to show that you could make a uh, structure using the wood, just the wood. And that's what this was all about, was just to show that um, structure. It just stopped. There it goes. Yeah, the bearing, like I say, is a pretty poor bearing, and the power supply is not very good, but uh, it does work, and anyway, that's just my little uh, project for after the holidays that I called the doodad motor, and it's um, just something to have fun with, something to play around with after the festivities. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. Thanks for watching.